I remember when Silouan had mentioned to me about wanting to attend seminary. And my thought was, no, <laughs> I don't want to move. We just came back from the Philippines, it had just been a few years, and the thought of uprooting was just a very difficult decision to, to consider. My biggest concern at the time was Caleb, our autistic son, and what an effect it would have on him. My thought was, how will I help my son to adjust? Where will he go to school? What type of therapy will he have? All these things that as a mother, your concerns for your children. And so, you know, we agreed that we would uh, visit that following summer. When we were visiting, we were here with our whole family. We got to stay in the guest housing and being there just on the grounds and, and being able to just walk about with the family and seeing how they reacted, it impacted us. And of course, even being here, knowing that this is a place where saints have tread, you can feel it. You can feel the spiritual depth of this place. And the whole family just loved it. There is this, there's this peace and it, it's incredible. You cannot describe it. You have to experience it yourself. I mean, once we visited, we knew that this is where we were gonna come back to. And I remember the day that we had to pack up and go after staying on the monastery grounds. Siloan and I looking at each other and we were just, I remember our eyes were so watery and thinking we don't want to leave, but to think that we had St. Tecons to look forward to gave me that peace, you know, that strength that I needed to, to leave knowing that this is where I was going to come back to. And yet here we are and I love it. Just, I can't explain the joy that I have and, and the peace of being here. Caleb has adapted beautifully. And here my little five-year-old loves it. He has so many friends. This place has um, just so many families, so many kids. It's almost as if you're in an orthodox cocoon, you know, this place of safety where you're surrounded by orthodoxy and it is just so beautiful to experience orthodoxy at a monastery. It's all been awesome, I guess that's the way I'd put it. Getting to experience a lot of these services I've never been a part of before and just seeing the liturgical life lived out here. You have to come here. You have to experience it. It's, um, there's something about it. It, it. It's easy to say, oh, it's a holy place or this is holy ground, but you can feel it here. And it's not going to, of course, you can't transmit that through a video lens. It, it's, it's not going to come through a screen.